Will you take a look at it, Dad, just for a second, so I see where I'm at? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, yeah, I see. I don't. I don't see any change, really. I think. Well, you're looking at. I'm gonna clear the cereal out of there. Oh, okay. Or does hurt though? Eventually, it's a good idea to remove your wisdom teeth anyway. But when they're impacted, it becomes a, a medical emergency. Hmm. They're just like time bombs in your mouth. Hey, that sounds delicious. <laughs> Dad, that's a good line. Yeah. You should give that to Dr. Zilber. I don't write for other doctors. But I picture him saying stuff like that. He is a, an alarmist. Yeah, well, their whole business, unlike my business, thrives on a certain sense of urgency. Mm. The first thing you learn in dental school is the expression, oh, my God. Yeah, he says that a lot. Yeah. You know, when I open my mouth and he touches the first tooth and he just goes, mm, mm. That's right. Ah, oh, Dad, I'm terrified. I mean, what kind of primitive procedure is this? They cut into your... Do I just leave it in there? Right? It will get better. You know... I'm just saying the body takes care of itself. Of course, Zilber is in no position to take care of my body right now. Yeah. I'm quite sure he is in the kind of shape he was ten years ago. You're not going to fight the guy, man. <laughs> I have struggled with him in the past. <laughs> Sometimes when he takes out the, the sharpest instrument, that one with a huge hook, mm -hmm. I fight him. I mean, I'll hold his arm. That's just a reflex, Ben. Then the nurse gets in on it. And uh, that is one sexy romp. Hey, Laura, I wonder if you can check my schedule, um, because it's possible I might need to take some time off the nurse, Ben. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. No, he's getting his wisdom teeth out, and I want to be there for him. Oh. oh. You know, and um, it's, it's kind of... You're going to take time off from work? What are you going to do for him? I mean, just having teeth pulled. He's going to need some extra pampering, and I'd like to be there for him. So I just, I just was trying to um, rebook some patients, if I could. Um, I don't think so. You know, I had my wisdom teeth out, and it's really not a big deal. Well, you know, different people react differently, so... Well, you know, if you encourage Ben to react like a big baby, then I, my guess is he will. Um... Did you ever have your wisdom teeth out? When I had my wisdom teeth out? Yeah. It cost something like $185. This wow. is 30 years ago. And the guy said, for another 10 bucks, I'll shave you back. That's a good deal. I had to go for it. Hey, Ben. Dad. How are you feeling, by the way? Uh... You sound... What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? Just wiping up. You know, I'm making a list of things for your care package for your post-op. That's nice of you, but, you know, you don't have to do that. Well, I, I think that you're going to need some extra caring when you come out of this procedure. Well, you know what? I don't want to jinx it. This is not jinxing it. I think you just might appreciate a few things. Well, what are you putting in it? Because I wouldn't mind final approval on stuff. Yeah. It's just that when you buy gifts, they're not good. This is why I'm calling you. I want your input on this. Let me. Can I tell you what I've got for you so far? Mm -hmm. I have um, tapioca pudding. Yeah. Some magazines. I also rented Carousel, the musical. Let me go over some of the stuff. That's all great, Dad. Yeah. And stuff that I won't eat or use. Oh, I forgot about the new law that they imposed, where sons aren't allowed to say thank you to a father for doing a nice thing. I did say thank you, but you're all wrong. I actually would like to put together things that would make you feel. Comfortable, because you're, you're liable to be very uncomfortable for a few hours, you know. Yeah. I've got a whole bunch of tapes when animals attack. Oh, I like that stuff. You know, because I sat through four hours of when animals think about attacking. Not so good. I should make a video when Dr. Zilber attacks. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> he's going to be going at my mouth. What about when animals attack Dr. Zilber? <laughs> I would love that. Dr. Katz's office. Laura! Hi. How are you, Laura? <sighs> no, Lord, it's me. It's Ben. Oh, Ben. I was doing a thing where I had no teeth because I'm going to the, you know, get my wisdom teeth out. Where are you? I'm under the couch. Um, it's not everybody who gets their wisdom teeth out. <laughs> no, just probably pretty much everybody. Yeah, but not everybody waits this long to get them out. Most people do it in their teens. Right. When there's no meaning in it. Mm-hmm. Me, I'm a little different, Laura. I held out till the last possible moment. That's called courage. Huh. Did you get your wisdom teeth out? I'm sure you did. Yeah. How old were you? Um, 17. <laughs> Typical. But I only had one, though. Well, the doctor says I only have one that needs to be taken out, but he's going to take out all four. No, but I only had one. What do you mean you only had, you had one? Only one in my head. Really? Yeah. You had one wisdom tooth. Just one. But everybody has four. No, everybody doesn't have four. I had one. That's like a freak. No, it's not. It's actually, they. what they told me was that it means I'm that I'm more highly evolved. Oh, man, that is not true. Because wisdom teeth, are wisdom teeth are unnecessary, and eventually everybody will have none. That's like going up to a humpback and saying, you're more highly evolved than everybody with that hump. Whoa. What's the matter? 
You're getting all these? I do everything big, Todd. Yeah. I don't do anything small. Man, you can't wipe out a whole section. I mean, I, I guess you can, but no one's ever done it before. Who's going to rent these anyway? Like, no one now. Well, this is kind of a special occasion. What's going on here? This is... I got to um, stock up on movies because I'm, I'm going to be in the house for a while. In the house? Yeah. Word. But not, not in the house like I'm typically in the house. I'm going to be convalescing. Convalescing? Well, I gotta get my wisdom teeth out of you. How are you gonna eat all this stuff? Look at this. You got supersized Twizzlers, mm -hmm. jumbo milk duds. No, well, I'm gonna make um, shakes out of it. Shakes? Yeah, you you put the um, licorice shakes. You do it with any candy. You gonna make a Skittle shake? Skittle's a good shake. Yuck! Have you had your wisdom teeth out? No, I'm keeping mine, man. Man, that's a scam. What are you talking about? God did not give you extra teeth. Well, well you know what? And I'm talking as a man who's been scammed many times. How have you been scammed? The whole burn yourself and go to the hospital and get a skin graft scam? I got that one. The whole, do you ever like fall and break your arm and they put it in a cast? I have not. Scam. Really? You don't need to do that. Mm. Nature takes care of itself. You can just walk away from that. Anal wart scam, I fell for that one also. There's a lot of medical scams. People really trust doctors way too much. Please don't play with that. Well, I'm not playing with it. I just can't think if it works. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. It works. Does that feel uh, numb yet? Mm-hmm. That inje uh, injection hurt, but I, I don't feel any numbness yet. Should I get, um... How about here? Ow. Ow. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Why are you using a nail clipper on me? Sit back. Wait, Doctor, shouldn't you uh, wait until the uh, Novocaine kicks in before we um, we go to the, uh, the table saw? <laughs> Relax, Ben. Uh-huh. Open up. Okay. Wider. Ah! Uh... Wider. Doctor, is that necessary? That's it! That's it! No, almost. <sighs> oh, no! Oh! Oh, my God! Don't exert yourself! Don't! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no! Hey, Ben. Hey, Garth. How'd it go? Well, take a look. Take a sweet look at my swollen head. Oh, man, you look like you got beat up. Yeah, well, I did get beat up. I have never been pulled. <laughs> Tell, why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> Just the way you're talking? I'm sorry. Why have guards in my mouth? I, I know you have... That's not nice. Don't I'm laugh. Not, I don't mean to. I just... Thank you, Laura. We're going to roll up. Don't do that. That's not funny. You know, I'll tell you something. I didn't expect you to have this reaction. This is not appropriate. Oh, why did you come here then? What did What did he give you for the pain? Painkillers, mm -hmm. which I doubt I'll need. Right. And he also gave me antibiotics, which he said, you know, were for to prevent infection. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what though? I I'll tell you something. This was an incredibly painful procedure. Mm -hmm. And I must admit, I I didn't even never screamed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dr. Zomer said I screamed a little bit, but I don't remember. You know, he's not that reliable a source. Dr. Zilver also said that my body went into total shock, which was not the case. Mm -hmm. You see, all that stuff, I don't remember. I think I went through like a trooper. I think you should go home now, Ben. Get some rest. Wait a sec, I have to change the gods, if you don't mind. Oh. I, do oh. Oh. I think I'm going to be sick. <laughs> oh. oh. You guys should see the sockets. You can see all the way down to my stomach. Yeah. Oh, I think I need another pill. Ben, you had one an hour ago. I can't keep feeding you these pills. You know, the pain is immense. But I think it just takes a while for these pills to kick in, and once they do, you'll feel fine. But until then, I'm going to try and distract you by telling you a little story. You know what? I'm not in the mood for st stories right now, to be honest with you, because my head is throbbing. Well, do it for me, then. Everything is throbbing right now, yeah. as a matter of fact. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm going to take you back in time to the day... Yeah, i got to be honest with you. Really, I have the pain is too much. I can't concentrate on you talking. Just give me another pill and get out of my sight. What's the magic word? Uh, now. Here. What's going on, Ben? What time is it? Ben, it's, it's four in the morning. What are and you doing I'm, up? Dad, I can't live anymore. I mean, the life's got to end. What are you talking about, Ben? Your life is so full of hope and joy and... Shh, listen to me. Look at me. Okay. I got this from the kitchen. It's all I could find. It's a nail file. Kill me. 
Okay, but this is gonna take hours. Kill me with it. I mean, just start filing from the nails and keep going until I am just dust. That I'm telling you, the pills don't work because the pain is the same. Mm -hmm. I curse Doctor Zilber and his wicked practice. He's no dentist. He's a monster. He is a mon. I, I, I've always said that, but I've always paid him on time. Don't touch me. Okay. And get away from me. Ben, you seem a little, uh... Yeah, I'm, uh, I feel a little better. I mean, I got some sleep, and oh, good. the pain has, like, subsided a little bit, although... Well, I'm so glad to hear that. Yeah, you don't look well. No, well, first of all, I was, I was up... Let me, before you go on, Dad, I just want to say... You yeah. ...that never in my life, ever, have I experienced pain like that. Ben, I have something I need to tell you, and I feel... Oh, well, Dad, I love you, too. I, no, this has nothing we to do with... We got through it together, and life goes on. You're not, you're not making this easier, Ben. You're not leaving me, are you? You know those painkillers that, that the doctor gave you? Yeah, those things were duds. I was giving you the wrong pills, and I, and I don't know how I could have done it, but you didn't take any. You were taking antibiotics all night. Oh, wait. What are you talking about? The good news is that you were fighting the invasion of, of uh, bacteria. Well, wait a minute. You, you, the you... bad news is that I gave you no painkillers, no pain medication all night. How could you mistake the pain? You're a doctor. I know, that's why it's doubly How embarrassing. How could you mistake painkillers for antibiotics? It says it right on the label. You know what, because I was so tired and... <sighs> I can't yell at you. I can't, you know, my, my mouth still hurts. So w maybe you should take one of these now, at least. So at least... See. What's that? Let me see the bottle. Why? Take two tablets every four hours to alleviate pain. Well, like, what it's a great so concept. It's so simple. Dad, how could you screw off like this, honestly? I, I, is there some way I could make it up to you, Ben? I would do anything to make it up to you. Well, you know what? What? In a way, I'm not mad at you. Because now I know what it's like to experience inordinate pain. I never would have had that opportunity if it weren't for you, Dad. I mean, thank you. Well, Ben, you're more than welcome. I mean, thank you for the sublime torture. Please don't make it harder than it is. Here's my new theory. Pain brings clarity. Like, for instance, feel this. Ow, Ben!